These are Boy in the Striped Pajamas, Chapter 7, Questions, Part 2. Question 8, how does Bruno injure himself? Uh, he is swinging on the tire. This is page 78. Uh, his hand slips off the tire just as he kicks the tree, and he falls off the swing. Question 9, describe Bruno's injury. His arm and his leg are sore and he has a scrape on his elbow, but the main thing is that uh, just below his knee, there's a very wide gash and it starts bleeding a lot. Number 10, who looks after him and what do they do? Pavel. Pavel's been at the kitchen uh, sink peeling potatoes or carrots and he sees Bruno fall. So he comes out, he picks him up off the ground, he takes him back inside, and he uh, uses a, a first aid kit to clean off the wound and bandage it. Number 11, what do we learn about Pavel's past? Uh, he was a doctor. Before he came to Auschwitz, he was. It's, he says that he was a doctor, and it sounds like he was a very good doctor. Uh, and this is very surprising to Bruno because it's not what he would expect from somebody who is working as a waiter in their kitchen. Right? But um, Pavel seems to be educated. He seems to have been very successful in uh, in his own life before he was brought to Auschwitz. Question twelve: Why does Pavel's behavior change when Bruno's mother arrives? Uh, they're sitting at the table and they're and they're having a conversation and all of a sudden he as soon as she comes in he picks up what he's uh, the, the carrots that he's peeling and he brings them back over to the sink like like they weren't sitting there talking before why why is this um, he I think Pavel's not really sure how Bruno's mother is going to react to this situation first of all he's a servant. Right, his job is to peel the carrots uh, and be a waiter for them, uh, but not to be talking to Bruno, not to be taking care of him in the way that he is. Also, he's a prisoner. He's a prisoner um, in the camp. And so this is really kind of like crossing a line uh, or he's at a line and he's not sure if he's going, if he's crossing it or not. So Pavel really isn't sure how uh, Bruno's mother is going to react. Um, I'm page 85 she's uncomfortable right when she kind of realizes what's going on that uh pavel has bandaged bandaged bruno's leg she is uncomfortable but she does thank pavel uh, after she sort of understands what the situation is so uh it seems like she is um she's appreciative for what he did for her son and uh she's understanding of the situation that's kind of the answer to question 14 also. Um, she understands the situation and she knows that Bruno's father will not be happy about it, right? Bruno's father is there to run this prison camp. Um, he's not there to have relationships or connections with those people at all. Um, so, and so she comes up with a story. She's going to tell Bruno's father that she's the, actually the one who bandaged the leg rather than Pavel. And this shows us again that she appreciates what Pavel did for her. So he's kind of, she's kind of um, protecting him in a way. Um, and she also, um, I said, she, she thanks him. She's, she's appreciative for it. Does Bruno understand the situation at out with? No. Right. Uh, he only sees it as selfish that his mother is going to take credit for something that she didn't do, even though the reason that she's doing that is not because she's selfish, selfish but actually because she appreciates uh, what Pavel did and she wants to uh, protect him because she understands the situation that he's in. So Bruno really doesn't understand what's going on.